Hi girlies, welcome back to another video. Today we're doing a get ready with me to go to a rare beauty Thanksgiving, Girlsgiving, Friendsgiving dinner. I am like screaming, dying on the inside. I am just so excited. I figured it'd just be fun to get ready using rare beauty products as well as like my other makeup that I've been doing for my everyday looks and also for like event makeup. So it's like really, really simple, matte, chic. But I feel that when you dress it up with the hair and accessories, it always looks good. But without further ado, if you guys want to get ready with me for today's event, then please keep watching. Okay, I have like 15 minutes to get ready, but I figured I'd get ready with you guys since today I'm going to be doing um, very beauty makeup products. And I realized I need to add way more to my collection. I tried some stuff, but I ran out of them. I just hit myself really hard here, but let's just get ready real quick. My hair's already done. I'm going to wear it straight, but let's do the face. First, we're going to use a retouch primer from... Fenty to kind of like smooth out the canvas and the pores. I think I did try out their Rare Beauty um, primer as well and I really liked it. But this one works literally just as good. I'm gonna go in with my House Labs foundation in the shade 270 Light Medium. I have not put this down ever since I got it. It's so full coverage. Oh, here we go, Rare Beauty brush. And it just, it just works. And this is a cosmetics foundation brush get this full coverage on it never fails me i swear i'm gonna take a mixture of these two concealers this is the dior correct it's full coverage it's bright it does it all i wish i could have done more with my eyes but i literally just like ran out of time it's kind of the same shade but like just like a different formula and then together it's just perfect i am gonna be taking the rare beauty setting spray and i'm going to dampen up my beauty blender well then i'm gonna take my fenty matchstick Match sticks, sticks well. I really have been enjoying using this again. It's just so easy and convenient. And it just like blends the right amount. And then I'm taking my Rare Beauty um, angled brush. I love this to blend out like my contour. It's just like such a precise brush. You guys see how it just like chisels that area perfectly because of the angle of the brush. It's literally perfect for like cream contouring, I feel like, or bronzing. It just does its job. And then I always go in like under my jawline with this brush. It creates like the right amount of blend to where it leaves like a nice shadow. And then also here on the nose. Perfecto. Now taking my DM sponge. Kind of like the spray marinate a little bit into the sponge. Even if you have like a really nice, like simple like makeup, the outfit and everything just makes everything so much better. I am so excited to go to this event. It's a Friendsgiving dinner and I will always like see this event um, back when I was like, you know, like a younger like influencer. I'd be like, oh my God, I wonder what it would be like to go to one of these events, like live in LA. And I'm like, I'm literally living the dream. Like I'm so thankful and excited. It's just so surreal, like how long of a journey it's been for me. And like now I'm here. And with Rare Beauty, which they're like amazing. Like I always like love the brand. So, and I think it's like my actual first like Friendsgiving like event dinner that I've ever been to like in my career. I just went to one with Tessa, like the photos, the photo app that I love. But it wasn't an event, it was more like a mixer party, but this is a dinner like event situation. And I'm just like so giddy uh, to like, film this moment to like remember it you know later in my in my life and i'm gonna take a little bit of this concealer carve out the brows it's gonna make the biggest difference once it's blended like lower than like the eyebrow i can go in with the blender and buff out those edges guys i actually met selena gomez like i can't even believe that happened like i was like so like crazy i would watch her like a disney channel and stuff and now it's like i'm going to her event at friendsgiving with her brand and i met the girls on the team as well they're all, all amazing it's just like so crazy you can achieve if you just like put your mind to it so the eyes are gonna give i'm just gonna take this kylie um eyeshadow palette it's like their new like reimagined like bronze palette i'm just gonna do a little number a little matte moment you can go wrong with like an all matte situation and like a nice wing that's what i'm gonna do because i have her eyeliner i'm just taking the color tell me more it's like a mauve like purplish moment the cool tone eyeshadow and i'm just placing that like literally all over keeping it nice and chic and simple the eyeliner is so good you guys it's so black and so sharp and like amazing so think about this eyeliner it gives it like a sharpie marker feel so like even just grabbing it like i grab it like a pen and i feel like i never can do that with any other lip, uh, lip liner eyeliner i'm grabbing it like i'm gonna about to scribble and i think that's why i like it so much just it's giving giving pen these wings are winging girly my eyelashes i'm going to 
add some glue while I apply the mascara. I'm taking Rare Beauty's mascara and I mainly just coat the bottom, like volume and then a little bit of the tip. If I am gonna be doing lashes, I don't need to go like that out with the mascara, but just a little bit makes it look so pretty and it's such a light formula. It doesn't get flaky, it doesn't crack, it doesn't flake off. And yeah, it's literally one of my go-tos, it's so dirty. All right, mascara is done. I'm taking a little bit of my Dior bronzer contour palette. Seriously, like obsessed. And like the warm shades here, I mix them together. I feel like it complements like my blonde with my skin very well, which is really important when you change like hair colors. And I'm gonna take a little bit more of that setting spray to moisten things up, especially in my cheek area because we're gonna be applying I like her blush. It's probably like one of my favorite products from her ever. I think I'm gonna go with this peachy, curly one. I feel like it looks so pretty on my skin. Now I'm taking this Refi brush to blend it out. You guys see how I was able to blend that cream blush onto powdered skin? Only Rare Beauty blushes can <laughs> do this for me. Like very rarely I'm able to do this because obviously like the formula will move around and stuff, but mm-mm. This one just stays and it's so pigmented and I am gonna take a little bit of this highlighter it's called outshine it's like a golden one which I love and then with the back of the beauty blender I'm going to tap that into the back of my hand and onto my skin I'm just gonna set everything with a corally brush blush as well this is from Dior now it's time to apply the lashes oh I love these lashes so much They're from the drugstore you guys know I always wear them yes girly all right I'm gonna do my lips and then we're gonna like um, add eyeliner to the glue band because it can't be showing. Alright guys, let's do the lips. This lip liner is called Wise. It's so good. I can't believe no one really like talks about it that much. It's like one of my favorite lip liners from our beauty. Oh, it's literally so yummy. I could eat it if I literally could. And then I'm gonna go in with another color in the outer corner. It's more of a red color. Gifted. It definitely pulls like a little bit more red tones, but I feel like the two really complement each other just so well. I'm just gonna take this cool tone color. I'm gonna take the shade um, Allergic to BS from Kylie and just dot it like that. Center up the lip. Taking a brush, we're gonna add that in. And then you wanna blend it inward towards like the um, inside of your lip so you don't like mess around with the lip liner. Everything looks just so nice and you know, blend it and then I'm taking Bare from Kosas in the middle. Ooh, girl. See, I told you I was gonna pull through. I'm going back in with the eyeliner just to fix anything. Ooh. All right, guys, we did it. I am feeling so good about this. I'm gonna play a little bit of mascara to the bottom of my lashes just because I feel like I need to a little bit more. All right, guys, I'm gonna get dressed and I'll be there back for the final look, but I feel like it looks really pretty, very like simple, very, very glam. All right, guys, I just got ready. This is a finished look. I can't believe that I got ready this quick, but here is my little um, jacket with the pants. I'll link everything always on TikTok and on Instagram. I do all my OTDs and stuff, but I will link other products used for the makeup down below for you guys. I gotta go, but thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys have fun and getting ready with me. But yeah, that is it for today's video. I have hair in my, my eye. I love you guys so much. Muchos besitos y abrazos. Bye, guys.